from the literature three fifty one section two. I'm gonna be talking about indirect calorimetry. It is a non invasive technique that estimates the energy expenditure by measuring the carbon dioxide production and oxygen consumption at rest. By calculating this energy we can correlate these two components to measure how much and calories being burned during a day. There's uh, three components within total energy expenditure and those are the base of metabolic rate, resting energy expenditure, and energy expended from physical activities. The basic definition of energy expenditure is the amount of energy that being spent. Based on metabolic rate, it's just the minimum energies of a person used at rest, and it is similar to the resting energy expenditure. The purpose of measuring energy expenditure is to provide a nutritional assessment for metabolic status. Set a standardized measurement for different purposes of losing weight or gaining muscles. And it's also used to detect abnormal respiratory activities to diagnose illness by tracking the oxygen consumption. Indirect calorimetry has three system and five approaches. The three system are total collection system, open circuits, and closed circuits. For total collection system, these are two approaches, and those are rigid collection system and flexible collection system. And these are the two pictures illustrating these approaches. They both these approaches involving a patient's expired air to a mouthpiece and gas will be collected in the chamber and measure. One disadvantage about these two approaches are time restriction. Different materials also being used. The total system using a hundred to a thousand liters capacity and the flexible system using an extendable polyvinyl chloride bag with a smaller volume. Rigid system allow to collect a bigger sample while flexible system collect less. Open circuit system. One of the approach just of open circuit system will be ven ventilated open circuit system. This can be performed through respiratory chamber or canopy, which is a less complex. Another approach will be respiratory collection system. Basically it's just a portable device being used to measure and expenditure instead of bigger machine or a chamber. Here's an example of open circuit system and respiratory collection system. Notice a small device being used. One advantage of the open circuit system is that it allows a longer recording time, which is much, much better than the close the total rigid system. And talking about with the closed circuit system is an absolute obsolete system that barely being used. Because the system composed of sealed respiratory gas which lead to mainly con contamination and inaccurate result. Now let's go to question number one. What are the two gases being measured in indirect calorimetry? Helium and oxygen. 
oxygen and carbon dioxide, dinitrogen monoxide, or both A and C. The correct answer should be B. Question number two. What are the three components included in total energy expenditure? should be B. Total energy expenditure include base of metabolic rate, resting energy expenditure, and energy expended. How many systems are used to perform indirect calorimetry? One, two, three, or four? There should be three systems to perform indirect calorimetry. Answer is C. Question four. How many approaches can be used to measure energy expenditure? 4, 5, 3, or 10. There's a 5 approaches to measure energy expenditure. Question number 5. What are the three systems used in direct calorimetry? The correct answer is B. Total collection system, open and closed circuit system. And that is the end of my question test.